what is up with it to the people. I'm uh, at a pretty interesting spot. Not entirely sure if it's legal. Um, it's a it's a courthouse, as you guys can probably tell. All right there's in the back. There's the jury and the audience and the uh, the judge's seat. And yeah, I'm not entirely sure if it's legal because there's a bunch of signs that say no recording, no photography. But I have to assume that only applies to like the court proceedings. Um, I hope so anyways, you know, otherwise this video might get mysteriously taken down, but I'm sure it's, you know, nothing to worry about. I wouldn't worry about it. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I can show you guys around a bit, but you all know why you're here, and that is Pokemon cards. I got this here Blissey tin. Uh, I picked it up a while back, um... And for those of you guys wondering, I am sitting in the judge's chair. It is cushiony, yet firm, as our justice system should be. But uh, yeah, I picked up this uh, picked up this tin a while back. Um, I haven't, had, you know, I actually have no idea what's opening, what's in it. It says 2019 on the back, so I have to assume it's Sun and Moon stuff. Um, yeah, and it comes with a promo card, obviously. There's a Gardevoir one that I also snagged recently that I'll probably open in a later video we'll see um, but yeah I'm excited to bring these bring these witnesses to the stand have them face justice maybe I'll get some cool pulls too so obviously we got the Blissey promo card um, well it's not technically a promo card actually I mean it is but it's from a set, I actually don't know what. A little flame thing? Is that like Burning Shadows or something? I don't know. Um, I always feel this, these things with a lot of plastic to kind of, you know, make it so nothing slides around in there. I got the code card, which, you know, doesn't really matter for this. Crimson Invasion. All right, yes, a bunch of Sun and Moon stuff, it looks like. Um, I'm not huge on Sun and Moon stuff just because I never finished the game, but, I mean, who knows? We can get something... I think we can get something really cool from it. This is Crimson Invasion. I think this is one of the earlier sets of the uh, the Sun and Moon era, like 20, you know, 18 maybe. Card card. One, two, three to the front. Getting rid of Fighting Energy. Let's see what we got. Lyron, Lusamine, Grumpig, Ghastly. Houndour, Staryu, Jangmo O, Shelmet, Salazzle Reverse. I do like the reverses from uh, the Sun Moon era, though. And Miss Magius. Okay. Not, not crazy, but uh, cool. Next up, we got Burning Shadows. This is, of course, the legendary <clears throat> set that has Charizard in it. I know it. it you know, drove some people wild trying to pull the card. Um, another card card. Right, uh, wow, I almost just dropped the uh, tin. One, two, three to the front. And water energy. I feel like I should learn how to get rid of the code cards uh, without showing off if they're good or bad, because I feel like that kills the uh, excitement. Right on. Uh, Trimillion. It's very interesting art. It's like a season, like a junkyard type thing. That's cool. Buffalant, Dewpiter, Cutie Fly, Riolu, Alolan Grimer, Noibat, Heracross Reverse. Nice. Heracross is probably one of the cooler bug Pokemon. And Butterfree. Uh, speaking of bug Pokemon, we have the most classic. One of all. All right. Lastly, we have Sun and Moon base sets. Cool. I think I always find that the base sets are pretty, you know, pretty all around good sets because they're just, you know, trying to encompass the region um, best as possible. There's the code card. Oh, ruined it again because I didn't want to show you guys the code because I like keeping them. Oh well. One, two, three. And getting rid of lightning energy. 
We got Alolan Persian, Dartrix, Net B Nest Ball, Drowsy, just kind of taking a long walk on the beach. I respect that. Crab Brawler, nice. Sandile, one of my personal favorites from uh, Gen 5. Uh, Alolan Meowth, oh cool, we got the, the chain. Picky Peck, Lily, Reverse, nice. I know people like, really like her. And Crabominal. Alright, so those are the packs. However, I have prepared a surprise witness. And that is Battle Styles. Um, I think the, the general sentiment of Battle Styles has actually kind of flipped. I know people used to really, really like, I mean, because it was the new set, of course everyone was going crazy for it, but like, after the dust settled, I know a lot of people haven't really, uh, cared too much about it anymore. Kind of, you see prices starting to fall. It's a lot easier to, um, to find, uh, stuff. I see booster boxes for, like, pretty reasonable prices, so... Who knows? Yeah, maybe down the line I'll just nut up and buy a booster box. That could be fun. Grass energy. Uh, Scroll of Swirls, Cacturn, Rapid Strike Energy, Horsey. That's nice there. I really like all the uh, islands in the background. It reminds me of uh, the first area of Sonic uh, Heroes. The Hillside Zone, whatever it's called. Oceanside. More Crow in the Grave. That's actually pretty cool art. Chirobi, like a tongue, just coming at you. I like all the uh, the beaches. It's very summery. I like the buzz. So land reverse. Yeah, underwhelming reverses. And jealousant. All right, non-hollow. Um, cool. I'm glad I'm, you know, kind of building up my battle style stuff. And I have one more battle styles pack for you guys. Cool. Uh, I was hoping we would get some good pulls today, considering how the spot we have. Oh, yeah. I keep making that mistake. Whatever. One, two, three. Remove the grass energy. And we got Buffalant, Level Ball, Spupa, Shinx, with big ol' ears, Gligar. Spoink. Oh, that's really cute. It's wintry. Bronzor. Tepig. Fighting a uh, Grumpig? Or no, not Grumpig. Whatever the middle of all form of Tepig is. Reverse Hollow Primate. Single Strike. And for the rare... Oh, come on. Another Jellicent. Remember how I was saying how people don't like battle styles? I think I'm starting to get it. But, uh, no, I mean, in reality... I think the reason people don't like battle styles is because the pull rights are bad, which, I mean, makes sense. But uh, anyways, yeah, this is the courthouse. I'm definitely not supposed to be doing this because I'm working, but, I mean, this is like, what, my third or fourth video? No, probably way more than that while I'm working. Um, yeah, here's where the jury would sit. I don't think the cases are here. You're usually important enough to have a jury. And if you look outside, you see a whole bunch of crashed cars that have um, ended up here one reason or another. I think that might just be where they go when there's, like, a big car accident, your car gets totaled. Um, which is cool, because I guess I realized that I had no idea where those usually go. Um, and that's kind of it for the video, guys. Thank you all for watching, and uh, I hope to see you back in another video, video adjourned.